Now finally, in 7 part C, okay, we have to solve the equation then sine theta over cos theta, I'll just write it down first, over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta equals 3. Now from the first part we saw that the term on the left hand side came to 2 cosec 2 theta so obviously I'm going to reduce this down to 2 cosec 2 theta and that will equal 3. Okay because that reduces my equation just to one trig function in one angle which is the ideal situation. Next, um, cosec 2 theta, if I'm going to use the calculator, cosec is not going to be on the calculator, so I'm going to change that to uh, 1 over sine 2 theta here. Cosec 2 theta then is 1 over sine 2 theta, so that becomes 2 over sine 2 theta, and that equals 3. And if I multiply both sides now by sine 2 theta, I therefore get that 2 is equal to 3 sine 2 theta. And then if I divide both sides by 3, I get that 2 thirds is equal to sine 2 theta. So I'll just turn that round so we end up then with sine 2 theta equals 2 thirds. OK, now at this point we would want to inverse sine both sides and that would leave me with 2 theta equaling the inverse sine of 2 thirds. Now at this point I would want to draw the quadrant diagram okay so I'm just going to draw that in here on the right hand side so that I can find all the values of theta in the range that I'm asked for. And that range is that theta, let's put it up here, had to be between 0 and 360 degrees. Now we're not dealing with theta here, we're dealing with 2 theta. So therefore my new range for 2 theta would be that if I double each of these intervals here. So if I double naught degrees it's still going to be naught degrees and if I double theta that becomes 2 theta and doubling 360 degrees now becomes 720 degrees. So I want to look at angles for 2 theta that lie between naught degrees and two, 720 degrees. Okay. And when I look down here, I notice that sine is a positive value, two thirds. And sine is positive always in the first quadrant and the second quadrant, with naught degrees starting from here. So I'll draw a line in, in the first quadrant, a line equally inclined to the horizontal axis here, marking that these two angles are exactly the same. And the ones that I want that represent 2 theta will be starting from 0, turning anti-clockwise to the first blue line is that one, and that will be a possible 2 theta. Next, I will start from here, and the next 2 theta will be this one. OK, so I mark that in as 2 theta. And then the next two after that will be to turn, let's take the red one, OK? Once I've got this red one, I can turn another 360 degrees, OK? Which will be in the range 0 to 720. And again, with the green 2 theta, I can turn a further two, 360 degrees and that will give me another angle for 2 theta that is in the range 0 to 720. Okay, so let's get back on the calculator now 
and I'll move further to the left here just to give myself a bit more room so therefore we have 2 theta equals and if you make sure your calculator is in degrees mode and do the inverse sign of 2 thirds you should find that you get 41.81 and so on okay coming up okay the that 41.81 is that angle in here it is the red 2 theta okay, I'll just pop that in there just so you can see that it is that that's 41.81 and so on degrees so that's the red 2 theta now we move on to the green 2 theta and because this little blue angle in here is the same as the one over here at 41.81 that means that the green 2 theta is going to be 180 minus 41.81 obviously because it's 180 degrees to there and then I minus the 41.81 so that's going to give me another answer this time for the green 2 theta that comes to 138.18 and so on. Okay. Now these two angles are between 0 and 360 but I, as I said earlier I can carry on because I've got to go up to 720 degrees. So taking the first angle 41.81 which is this red 2 theta I've now got to go round completely again another 360 degrees. So if I add 360 degrees to 41.81, we get 401.81, and so on. And then similarly, if I take the green 2 theta, which is 138.18, and I add another further 360 degrees to that, I get 498.18. And so on. Okay. Now then, to get theta, all I've got to do then is divide each of these four angles by two. So let's just scroll up a little bit. Okay. So therefore, if I divide the first one, 41.81 by two, I get 20.90, and so on divide the 138.18 by 2 I get 69.09 and so on next the 401.81 divide that by 2 that's 200.90 and so on and lastly 498.18 divided by 2 is 249.09 and so on and we had to give our answers now to one decimal place so finally theta equals and the first one becomes 20.9 degrees put the units in there next one 69.1 degrees next one 200.9 degrees and finally the last one 249.1 degrees and I'm going to qualify those results by saying that they're all to one decimal place, one dp. Okay, so that brings us to the end of part C and the end of question number seven.